today we are going to learn something interesting. We have won the match. Now here we are simply stating a matter of fact as in we have won the match. Now if I say hurrah we have won the match. What is the difference? The meaning does not change much but what is added is a strong emotion or a strong feeling of excitement. So why is that so? This is because of the word hurrah. So it is helping us to express that excitement of winning the match. So you see that words like this have a special function in English language and they are called interjections. Now let us understand what is an interjection. An interjection is a word or a group of words that expresses a strong emotion or a feeling. It does not relate grammatically to the other parts of a sentence. So we can understand that words like hurra help us to express a strong emotion or a feeling and you must have also noted that if we remove the word hurrah, we have won the match still makes sense. So you see that interjections are not grammatically related to the other parts of a sentence. It is usually placed at the beginning of a sentence. So in hurrah, we have won the match. We saw that the interjection hurrah was placed at the beginning of a sentence. The exclamation mark is the most commonly used punctuation mark for interjections. So whenever we write an interjection, you will see that in most cases they are followed by an exclamation mark. So even after our sentence, hurrah, we have won the match. After hurrah, we have placed an exclamation mark. Hey, how are you doing? Now, here... Hey is the interjection. You can see that it is a way of greeting and it is placed at the beginning of the sentence and it is followed by an exclamation mark. And what is it doing? It is showing an emotion or a feeling. So you can see that two sisters are interacting and one is asking the other, Hey, how are you doing? So it is a way of greeting which has lot of emotion involved. Alas, I have lost my way. Now here, this little girl has lost her way and she is sad about it. She does not know what to do. So which word is helping us to express that emotion? It is the word alas. Once again, it is at the beginning of the sentence and you can see that it is not related to the other part of the sentence grammatically. So alas, is helping us to show the helplessness of this child. But even without this word, the sentence would have still been correct. So this part is not grammatically related to the sentence. Wow, the dress is so pretty. Now when I say wow, the dress is so pretty, this inclusion of the word wow is helping me to express my appreciation, which has a strong emotional feeling related to it. So if I simply say the dress is so pretty, then it would not have been able to show that strong emotion as when I say, wow, the dress is so pretty. So here, wow is the interjection. Now, you must also note one thing. Here, after wow, I have not used an exclamation mark. Why? I have used a comma. To separate it from the rest of the sentence, the dress is so pretty. And then I have used an exclamation mark at the end of the sentence. So at times you will notice that an exclamation mark is not placed just after the interjection, but at the end of the sentence. Oops, I have left my purse in the car. Now this person has forgot to bring his purse with him. He has left it in the car. So he is a bit sorry for it and he has realized his mistake. So the word oops is helping us to understand that he has realized his mistake. 
So, oops is an interjection. It is showing an emotion or a feeling. Oops, I have left my purse in the car. Once again, you see the exclamation mark is placed at the end of the sentence. Congratulations, you have secured the first position. Now, this boy has secured the first position and his teacher is appreciating him, saying congratulations. Now you see, congratulations is a noun. So at times, nouns can be used as interjections. So till now, we have seen that words like hurrah, alas, wow, they do not have a meaning of their own. They actually help us to show emotions. But this word congratulations is a noun with a meaning as in to show appreciation. But at times, nouns can also be used in the form of interjections. So congratulations, you have secured the first position. So despite being a noun, congratulations here is acting as an interjection and showing an emotion, an emotion of appreciation. Good. All your answers are correct. Now we know good is an adjective. So what do we see? Adjectives can also be used as interjections. Now when the teacher says good, all your answers are correct. That is also a way of appreciating the children that they have got their answers correct. So here good is not acting as an adjective. It is acting as a means of showing an emotion or a feeling. So this is an Interjection. Oh my goodness, what have you done? Now as you can see in the picture, this girl has made quite a mess. And maybe her mother comes in and to see her in such condition, she exclaims, Oh my goodness, what have you done? So, oh my goodness is acting as an interjection and it is showing her shock to see this mess. So, this group of words which are acting as interjections, are helping us to show an emotion. Now, since we have done quite a number of examples using interjections, let us try to solve this exercise. Fill in the blank with the appropriate interjection. Dash, the baby is sleeping. Now, we have three options. Hush, wow, hello. Now, if I say, wow, the baby is sleeping, does it make any sense? No. If I say, hello, the baby is sleeping, even then, it does not make any sense because wow shows a sense of surprise. Hello gives us a sense of greeting. None of them fit here. So, what do we use? We are going to use hush. The baby is sleeping. So when I say hush, the baby is sleeping, I am trying to show that you need to low down your voice or keep quiet so that the baby is not disturbed. So here the word hush is the correct interjection. So what did we learn today? We have learned that an interjection expresses a strong emotion or a feeling. Also, it can be a single word or a group of words. For example, it can be words like hush, wow, alas or oh my goodness, well done, anything. It is usually placed at the beginning of a sentence. It does not relate grammatically to the other parts of the sentence. And it is commonly used in informal language. So it is to be noted that you will see such words are mostly used in conversation. I am sure in your daily conversation you must have come across such words. So next time when you hear a conversation or even while you are talking to your friends, be careful to note which words are being used as interjections. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum.
Over 5,000 amazing lectures across Maths, Science, English and Social Science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests. Performance analysis along with actionable feedback. Personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.